Coast on Coast Mesa on D. Well, today we have a Tundra rotor here. And we've actually had to turn this down for the diameter. The guy's putting it on a different axle, I guess. So, I want to show you how this is set up on the machine. We have the other rotor in here. We'll actually use the cone with a center to uh, help hold the thing to the chuck and also to reduce some of the vibrations. Whenever you have to cut a rotor down, you go down into the veins here and it sets up quite a chatter, so we have to try and reduce that as much as we can. And here we go. We're using this paper here just to kind of keep the chips in one place and from going all over the shop. about 60,000 per cut and I'm using the switch on the machine so I can run the, the carriage back and forth. Make sure our tool doesn't move.
take the measurement here and we'll be right back. Alright, well we should be getting close to our final target here. Take another measure and we'll be back. We got about another 10,000 to take off, and that should do it. That's it. The only thing I've got left to do is take and put a little chamfer on this. Alright, well that's it. And to recap on this thing, we used a we we'll use the cone to help support the workpiece on the inside, held in with the center. And we use the outside jaws to actually clamp on this. And we use the fairly straightforward tool bit down there. We used a boring bar. And um, that worked out pretty well. We had to be mindful of uh, the diameter down here so that we didn't crash into uh, our carriage. It, does hit there in the back and that's it I mean this isn't really rocket science here this is pretty simple machine work if you have questions about this give me a call here at Costa Mesa R&D we'll see you soon